Connie and Curtis. I would like to try an experiment. Are you down? Are you down for some science? Uh, depending. Okay. This is good. I've learned to not say yes to things to you without knowing what they are first. You're smart. It's uh, you. it's about 10 minutes before 8. Mm-hmm. I need someone who is either in the car with their kids or sitting at home with kids right now who are between the ages of like 8 and 12 okay. to call at 7708-957. Answer the phone. Okay. <clears throat> Connie and Curtis, who is this? This is Shauna. Shauna, Shauna. Do you have a kid or kids in the area with you? Yes, I do. I have a five and an eleven year old. Okay, this is perfect. Okay, this is perfect. All I right. need I need you without any bit of cheating to ask them two questions for me, and I need oh. to I need to know if they know the answer. Okay. Uh, Katie and I, we asked our kids this. It came up in Trivial Pursuit. Uh, and we make our kids play against each other because we're way right. smarter than them. Right. And none of them knew it. Okay. And we couldn't believe it and we felt bad about it. <clears throat> All right. Okay. Here's question number one In the nursery rhyme, Little Miss Muffet, what is Little Miss Muffet eating? Please what say. is Little Miss Muffet eating, Kai? I don't You don't know? No. Little Miss Muffet sat on a selfie eating her. Our kids don't know these. We. Wow. It's the internet. She doesn't, she doesn't know either. He said pumpkin pie. Yeah. Pumpkin pie. That would have been better than what she was actually eating. Curds and whey is the answer. <laughs> now, now, he's 11? He's 11, yeah. Okay, and, and, okay. and my kids are, are 9, 10, and 13. They had no clue. Now, wow. here, here, is, here is the other question that came up. Also, based on nursery rhymes, your question now for your kids is, what did, in Jack and the Beanstalk, what did Jack trade for the, for the beans? <laughs> what did Jack trade, Kai? He well, said a cow. So he knew that. He knew that. My kids didn't know that either. So I didn't yeah, think I knew that one. So, so then we're sitting there, like Katie and I are like, our mouths are on the ground. Like, how do you not know these nursery, nursery rhymes? rhymes? But it, I think it's because it, they, they know Minecraft. They know the internet. They know Musical.ly. They know Instagram. Where, when do you learn these. nursery rhymes? You learn those in school? No, it's no up, you learn them from grandma. Grandma, right. okay. It's, yeah. it's, it's up for parents. Like it's our so job. So parents to do don't that. Teach, teach them anymore. Is that what you're saying? I don't think so. Did you teach them? We must not have. We yeah. thought we had, right? Maybe it's just one of those things you just assume every kid knows. And how do they learn them? They learn them from their yeah. moms and dads. So one for one, you went, which, Shana, is, which is better than in my house because we were zero for two on those in my house. So I was like, let's do a little. I didn't science. even remember the cow one. Did you know that, Shauna? I did not know the cow one. I knew the Little Miss Muffet. Cow. Yeah, me too. Eating her curds and whey. I'm the same same as you. Uh, and they, he traded the cow because remember, he, uh, she, he was supposed to take the cow. They didn't have any money. So he's supposed to take the cow to town and get some food no, or something. No, I don't remember that. <laughs> and then instead, he get, came back with these magic beans that turned into a beanstalk. No. And that is. Shauna, thank you for taking Thanks, part in our, in our science project. Thanks. Connie and Curtis.